and welcome to International Gibbon Day 2021. My name is Helen Chatterjee and I'm a Professor of Biology at University College London. And I'm here in UCL's beautiful Grant Museum of Zoology to celebrate International Gibbon Day with you. Today I'm joined by one of the Grant Museum's beautiful gibbon skeletons to talk to you about how gibbons are adapted for their special arm swinging form of locomotion called brachiation. Gibbons are really unique in the primates for undertaking this really specialised form of locomotion. They've got lots of adaptations all over their skeleton, which mean they're perfectly adapted for this specialised form of arm swinging, pendulum style locomotion, where they live high up in the canopy, in branches that very few other mammals can reach. So if we look across the skeleton, we can see lots of fantastic adaptations for this specialised form of locomotion. If we start here at the top of the shoulder, we can see a really beautiful, very rotund and round ball and socket joint. And what that does is enable the gibbons to have a really high degree of rotation in their shoulder joint to help them with that arm swinging locomotion. The other thing you'll notice is how long and thin the gibbon arms are, especially if we compare them to many of the other primates. All of the different limb bones in the arm are really long and extended and thin, and they're perfectly adapted for this sub arboreal, this sub tree branch swinging locomotion. They've got lots of rotation ability in their elbow joint and their special adaptations in their wrist, which mean that they have lots of rotation capability in the wrist. In particular, we can see here the bones of the wrist have become fused. And that's really unique in, in many primates because what it means is they can rotate their wrist to a much higher degree than most of the other primates, including ourselves, where we have quite a limited amount of rotation. Gibbons can do 360 degrees of rotation in their wrist. And that's also really useful when they're below branches and they need to be really, really fast swinging through those trees, almost looking like ballerinas. And if we move further on down the hands, we can see these really, really long, thin, curved finger bones or phalanges. If you look at your own hand bones, you can see they're much shorter and they're straight. And these individual curved finger bones are really helpful for forming a natural hook. And they use that to hook onto branches, again, making this really efficient when they're in the trees with their arm swinging specialised form of locomotion. So what a beautiful set of adaptations we see in the gibbon skeleton for this specialised form of locomotion. And what a perfect way to celebrate International Gibbon Day 2021. But let's not forget why we're all here. As well as celebrating how wonderful and beautiful gibbons are, let's remember how rare they are and how many species are under threat and how many of their beautiful habitats are also under threat. I hope you enjoy celebrating International Gibbon Day 